Hey guys, Michael here from OneGage. I want to talk with you a little bit about what to expect from one of our digital gauge systems, why we build it the way we do, and some of the features that our products offer. So the first thing I'm going to show you today is what you can expect right out of the box when you receive your OneGage system. This right here is one of our basic kits that includes your OneGage hub as well as a couple sensors and your power wiring. So the hub itself is encased in this standard ABS plastic box. This is a heat resistant box. If you needed to place it in your engine bay, you definitely could. It's got a slot here for all your wiring to come out both sides. Um, that way you can add and remove sensors as needed. If you did want to waterproof or get a custom box, that's definitely an option. Um, to waterproof this box, you just remove the spacers, cut the holes that you would need in the box, and then uh, seal them up after you've run your wiring through. This box is our standard box. We do offer a box upgrade if that's something that you'd like. If this is um, going to be in a spot that's maybe more visible um, in your vehicle, you could definitely add one of these. It also makes it a little bit easier to access a lot of the features of one gauge and um, do future updates as needed. So on this system right here, if you were to open this box up, what you would see is the one gauge hub itself. So the hub here, um, it's obviously a little bit different from what you're used to seeing a lot out of electronics. Most electronic systems that you see are totally closed off, not supposed to touch them, not supposed to modify them. But here at OneGage, we strongly believe in the right to repair. Um, if something were to ever happen to your OneGage setup, uh, if you ever had an issue, you could easily replace the components and, and fix it yourself. Um, the idea is that we want you to be able to save money. We also want you to be able to modify the system in a way that makes sense for you. So say, for example, you start off with one of our standard one gauge kits. This one would be ideal for a carbureted vehicle. So you could add, for example, coolant temperature and oil pressure. Uh, but maybe one day you want to upgrade to an EFI system for your vehicle. So most EFI systems include CAN bus communication. All you'd have to do is purchase the upgrade kit from us at OneGage. You solder this unit on. Um, CAN bus is really simple, two-wire communication. So you wire your two wires to your ECU and you're good to go. So there's no need to purchase a whole new OneGage system. You can upgrade it and it can grow along with you. Um, we do, we do believe as well that you shouldn't pay for any features that you're not going to use. So if you're not going to use, for example, that CAN bus setup when you purchase it the first time, there's no need for you to pay for that. So one important thing though is that um, the programming is all taken care of on our end. So you don't have to be a programmer. You don't have to have any electronics expertise. We take care of all the programming for you. We send you the files, you plug it into your computer and you update it. It's about a two minute process. So very easy. Another feature of our product is the ability to add um, other communication types. So I've talked a little bit about standard sensors. Standard sensors are, are the sensors that you use, for example, with a carbureted vehicle or with a pre-1996 vehicle that doesn't have an OBD setup. So these would just be standard automotive sensors, really expensive, very durable. Um, these are the type of sensors that you're going to find stock in your vehicle. To connect sensors on this, um, we have all of our, our terminals labeled. We have multiple pictures and things in our installation instructions. We also have a list of each sensor that's compatible on each terminal. So you can choose what sensor works best for you. We can also change sensor assignments by terminal. So if you need extra of a certain type of sensor, um, that's something that we can absolutely do as well. Let's say you wanted to upgrade. Um, maybe you have an, a vehicle with an OBD2 connection. You want to get some of that um, fuel or engine data that comes from the OBD2 connection. Um, we have two options for that. We have a wired OBD2 setup and a wireless OBD2 setup. So the wireless one will work for any OBD2 vehicle. Uh, the downside is that it's a little slower. You're not going to get um, vital information like speedometer or tachometer as quickly. So we usually recommend wiring those up separately um, straight into the one gauge from your ECU. On the other hand, if you've got a newer vehicle, one that's made after 2008, and there are a few before that have this system as well, but um, CAN bus enabled OBD2 systems can use a wired setup, which is extremely fast. It gives, um, gives data updates much more quickly than you would get from one of the wireless setups. So it's a great option. We strongly recommend it if you do have a newer 2008 um, or later vehicle that's made in the United States. As I mentioned before, another option for communication is CAN bus. So CAN bus is a really simple system. Um, all we do is we program it to whatever um, setup you're using, whatever ECU, whether that be a standalone ECU, an aftermarket EFI system, um, 
and then you have just two wires that run into this. So there's a CAN high and a CAN low wire. So it's a really easy way to get a ton of data. Um, it communicates lightning fast. Um, there's no issues with, with um, delays or, or anything like that with your sensors. So if you have the ability to add a CAN bus communication with a standalone ECU or with an aftermarket EFI system, we would highly recommend that. One thing that you'll notice potentially is that this is a pretty large kit. Um, we are working on a smaller version of our product, a miniature version. So this would be the new one gauge hub. Um, the current version is about four inches by seven inches. The new version will be about two inches by four inches. So um, considerably smaller. Um, it won't it won't accept as many sensors as the full version does. So if you plan on adding a ton of sensors to your vehicle, you might go with the full larger version. But for most people, this small version is going to work perfectly, provide you um, all the information and all the data, all the sensors that you need. The next thing to discuss is different display options that work with one gauge. So our most basic and our easiest to set up display option is just using an Android phone or tablet. Um, we connect directly to Real Dash or Torque Pro. Uh, it's a really simple Bluetooth connection. It's wireless. The advantage of a tablet or a phone is that you can put it anywhere in your vehicle. It's not permanent. It doesn't require any vehicle modification. So it's a really easy way to set up the one gauge system. But if you're looking for something a little bit more permanent, we would recommend one of our LCD screens. Um, these screens are really simple, really easy to use. It's got a single four wire connection that connects directly to your one gauge hub. It's got an SD card slot here so that if you ever want to change the design or update the screen, that's an easy option. These screens come with a ton of different designs that we've made um, specific for our products. We can also make you a totally custom design as well. We do offer different design services. You can also make your own design and, and we can work with you on how to do that. The screens have four mounting holes, one on each corner. It's great for a flush mount type system. Uh, makes it really easy to mount this if you have a flat panel or if you're making your own dash. We have a few other options for our standard screens. This is our seven inch screen, so you can tell it's, it's a good bit smaller, but um, this will fit most dashes a little bit better than maybe the 10 inch would. Um, same idea, same four mounting screws, uh, same connector. We do offer a high brightness version of this as well. So if you're off-roading in, in a Jeep or some, or you have a convertible, uh, maybe you're using this system for a boat, we would highly recommend some of the high brightness screens. We also have this type of screen. This is one of our, this is the same seven inch screen that I just showed you, but it comes in a bezel that's made by the manufacturer. I'm not a huge fan of this bezel due to the large dead space around the edge, but it is really nice that um, it comes in this pre-made case. So you could just pop that right into a dash. It'd be really easy to install. Um, and simplify things a little bit as well. We do offer a variety of other installation options though. So um, for example, this is our seven inch housing and display kit. So this would hold one of our smaller seven inch screens. It just fits in like that. So now you've got a really easy to mount seven inch display. Another option if you're looking for um, a complete instrument cluster replacement. We do offer a variety of products. We've uh, partnered up with a few different manufacturers who make um, these custom display cases and housings. So this is one for um, a late F-150, late model OBS. Um, one of our seven inch screens would fit right in there. You'd have all of your gauges and things right there. You also have room to add, uh, if you wanted other lights or screens or anything on the side, um, that's, you have that option as well. These are really easy to install. Basically, you'd remove your old instrument cluster. This would pop right in in its place. It's got all the same screw holes and mounts that your stock cluster would, and these have been tested to fit your vehicle specifically. At One Gauge, we also stand by our products. We do offer a 90-day warranty on all of our parts. Uh, anything that you have an issue with during installation, we're happy to provide support for. If you need changes down the road on your programming, so you need to change out sensors, we're happy to make those changes for you as well. We appreciate you watching today. If you have any questions at all, you can reach me directly at info at theonegauge.com. You can also browse our website. We have contact forms there, um, as well as a ton of information about specific sensors that are supported, um, how to set up your system, and a lot more. Appreciate you watching today. Thanks for your time.